right, everyone, this is day one. So I am going to take all of these apples and I'm going to peel them and I'm going to slice them and I'm gonna put them in cold water with some lemon juice. When that is done, then you'll see on day two and we are going to make apple pie filling. All these apples are really in bad shape. They need to get used up. And I'm not going to the grocery store and buying as much food items and I need to use up what I got. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. I like to do big projects like this in little steps. That way it's not so much at one time. And I'm going to be taking my vanilla sugar, which I hope you've seen that video. We are gonna use the vanilla sugar to give it a really special taste. All right, see you guys in a little bit. Waste not, want not. Oh, and the peelings, I'm gonna see if I can make some vinegar with them. Well, good morning everyone and welcome to day two. Now day one was just a quick little bit showing you all those apples. I cleaned out my refrigerator and today I'm gonna to show you different things that I'm gonna do with very unusual food in your refrigerator. Now this is apple and this is apple pie filling and I'm going to be making apple crisp. But what do you do with orange rinds? Well, we have a whole bunch of orange rinds and instead of dehydrating them for in my laundry, I use that in my laundry soap and I use it in all of my soaps. We're gonna make a special treat with that as well. But we're gonna just mix up this apple pie filling. Now this comes from a recipe that is in the description box and I'm making it for seven quarts. It has a really nice feature on her website where you can put in the amounts that you wanna make. And that way, if you wanna make only two quarts or four quarts or 20 quarts, you can automatically have a calculator to do that. All right, so we're just gonna mix all the ingredients up. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. This is my universal. I use this for strawberry pie filling, peach pie filling. I use this for raspberry pie filling, apple pie filling. You can use this for any fruit. So this is a great way to use that fruit and it's been in my refrigerator. I'm telling you since October and that's embarrassing. I just had so much with the holidays. I just didn't get around to it. But now we have to get it done because we don't wanna waste anything. So what I have is, this is for my recipe for the seven quarts. I added nine cups of water and now I'm gonna go ahead and add the sugar. Now my sugar is gonna be half different than what you see other people do. I make vanilla sugar. If you have not seen that, I'm gonna share that recipe at the end of this one, okay? So there's gonna be an I card where I share how to make that on my other channel. But this is vanilla sugar. Now this one, oh, it smells absolutely amazing. We're gonna go ahead, take the vanilla beans out of this one. I just put some vanilla beans on top just to give it some extra, extra flavor. Oh, absolutely, absolutely the most amazing thing. And I blended it. You have to just see the video to know how to do it. So we are going to add this vanilla sugar to make this apple pie filling pizzazz. And let me tell you what, people are gonna eat it and they're gonna be like, what is that extra special flavor? And it's gonna be the vanilla sugar. So I added the water already. Now all I have to do is add the sugar. I'm doing all of this before I put the apples in the jar. To this, it calls for six cups of sugar. So we're gonna use up all of the vanilla sugar first, and then we'll use the regular sugar next. So I'll add the sugar, and then I'll show you what we do next. One thing nice about having a prepared pantry is you have just about everything you need. This is lemon juice that I canned in 2019, and it still is amazing. I'm gonna be having an updated video on all of you for those who would like to know how to recan lemon juice. All right, now I gotta add the cinnamon, and I'm gonna mix it all up. When it's thickened, then we will put it in with the apples. I'm doing something a little different this year. I'm actually adding the apples to the jars and then I'm pouring the syrup or the filling on top. You'll see that in just a moment. We're going to soak all of our lids and our rings in hot water because we are not pressure canning. This is water bath canning. And now I'm gonna put the apples into the jars. Now we're gonna go ahead and fill all of the jars with the apples. So let's go ahead and fill all the jars. Let's go ahead and fill all the jars with the apples. Now 
Now, I want to show you something here really quick. Because I peeled my apples yesterday, I want to show you how I keep them nice and white. So the apples were in a solution with lemon juice and they were in the water and I put a plate over top to keep them in the water. All right, so now we're just gonna fill all the jars with our sliced apples. We wanna fill the jar as full as we possibly can. I had just enough of apples to make some apple crisp. Here I am making the apple crisp. If you're interested in the coating and the topping for the apple crisp, that is crumbs in a jar. You can use that for any kind of pie. I will share with you that video at the end of this one. What you're gonna do is cut up some vanilla beans. You can get them on Amazon. Actually, I you can get them on Amazon or at your local grocery store. But let me show you what we do. All we're going to do is finely chop them. All we're going to do is coarsely chop them because we are putting them in the blender. It's so simple. Now we're just going to fill our blender with the sugar. Now we're going to make a couple batches and we're going to put our vanilla beans in them just like that. So this is going to be batch number one. It just smells so amazing. I'm really hooked on this vanilla. I absolutely love it. And it makes your food taste so much better. Sugar. You are going to amaze your family and friends. I'm telling you, this has made such a difference in my baking. Adding this to cookies, pies, candy, cakes. Add this to tea, coffee. It's amazing. Hot chocolate. It's just absolutely amazing. There you go. That's how you make vanilla sugar. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. At the end of the video, I'll show you the apple pie filling and the apple crisp when it comes out of the oven. Bye, everybody. Thank you.